First thing you want to do when you're going to go ice fishing is make a hole. You want to test the durability of the ice by using a big fucking rock. Now I can walk on that. There's fish under this fucking ice. I'm going to try to break a hole in there and see if I can rig up some kind of fishing trap. Shit. Don't worry, I got plenty of rocks. Oh, that's almost a point and shuffle board. Oh, that's kind of fun. No, stick to the task at hand, Tex. I know you like bar games and challenges. I know you want to hit your own rock with another rock. That's more important to you than food right now. But remember, you're hungry. Unfortunately, for me, food is scarce. But luckily, big fucking rocks are plentiful. I mean, it's gonna be really funny when you do a super cut of all the rocks I'm throwing out here. I have to imagine that this rock weighs about 20 pounds. Now if I'm able to throw it 20 feet in the air, that's mass times speed, which is gonna equal the force necessary to puncture the ice. Mass times speed equals force. This ain't working too well. Maybe the fish will come right up to the shore. Anytime something's got thorns and bright colors, it is most likely absolutely, definitely poisonous. Now they call these I don't know what they call these. Ricin Red Hots. Ricin for the poison, Red Hots for the candy. Candy colors equal deliciousness. Berry colors equal death. And there's a, an old rhyme that you can remember. Candy colors happiness, berry colors death. There's an old nursery rhyme that they used to teach the scouts. I can't quite remember what it is, but it's something like candy colored delicious, berry colored death. You get the gist. They call these nipple tomatoes. They call these poisonous pomegranate seeds. They call these Mexican death beans. <laughs> they call this Satan's corn. They call this the devil's turds. Come on, keep throwing them at me. The devil's Tylenol. We've done so many devil ones. They call these the devil's Tylenol. Demon shit. What else is red? Scarlet. They call these Scarlet Johansons because they're beautiful but horrible. <laughs>